Hi, it's JD. So I am going to attempt a reading vlog. So I don't think I've done a reading vlog before and I don't know if this is going to go to plan or even contain much reading, but yeah, we shall see. So I just got done filming a video and I have been out and about today. I took myself on a nice little day out to a bookstore and I bought some books. I'd reserved a book there and went to pick that up today and somehow came out with seven books. So yeah. <laughs> I just have no self-control whatsoever when it comes to books. I shouldn't have bought these, but I did, and that's that. So, yeah. I'm gonna start this video off with a little haul, I guess, of what books I picked up today. I picked up seven books, and I'll show you them now. So, I picked up the physical copy of my current audiobook, second book in the Outlander series, and this is Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon. And I've already started the audiobook yesterday. I am 140 pages in currently and I'm really enjoying it. Then I picked up this poetry book which I have featured in my February TBR so this is just a random one but this looks really fun and I don't even know much about it except for the fact it's called Nocturnal by Wilder. It has a super pretty cover, super pretty illustrations inside. I also picked up the first three volumes in the Shadowhunters Mortal Instruments graphic novels collection. So I've had my eye on these forever, I just have never bought them. And today I kind of just took the plunge and decided to get all three whilst I had them. I love the covers on these, they are absolutely beautiful. So we've got this one the second volume and the third volume. I really enjoy graphic novels, I want to read more graphic novels this year so I thought these would be perfect to get into my TBR each month. Then because I bought the three graphic novels I thought well I'm one book away now from completing my Cassandra Clare shelves. I have every single book now that I want and all I needed was this one so I just thought may as well get it. So that is the Illustrated History of Notable Shadowhunters and this is by Cassandra Clare and illustrated by Cassandra Jean and this is literally just like a little book with really nice pictures in it. <laughs> just has some really cool illustrations of Shadowhunters from the books and this was just the last book I needed to complete my shelves so I got it and I'm glad I did. It's really pretty. <laughs> this is a book I've heard some really good things about but also some not so good things about but I bought it anyway because I really like the sound of the premise for this book. This book was Blood Air and this is by Emily Wen Zahai Zahao Zahao Zao? I don't know. I'll link it down below though because I can't pronounce the other's name because I suck. But yeah this is Blood Air. This follows a crown princess who has a very scary secret. She has a deadly affinity for blood so yeah. <laughs> This deadly kind of gift that she has is what has kept her behind the palace walls for her entire life. She keeps herself and her secret hidden as much as she possibly can. Then her father, the emperor, is murdered and her whole world is kind of shattered. She is then framed as the murderer and has to escape from the palace. So now her mission is to flee for her life and to try to clear her name by finding the real killer. She soon discovers that the world she thought she knew is not what exists outside the palace walls. It is full of corruption and basically she's in for a big shock. She has no idea what to do. She's, you know, completely out of her comfort zone and she then discovers this whole conspiracy that threatens to destroy the world as she knows it. <laughs> she then has to team up with someone who's just as corrupt as this conspiracy theory to try and figure out what the hell is going on and who is responsible for her father's death. So yeah, I really like the sound of this. I feel like this is going to be a really cool story. And then the book I actually went to Waterstones for was a really random one. That is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Other Stories. And this is just nice and big and pink and it has a really pretty spine. Really cool little picture with the Mad Hat on the back and it has gold foil, sprayed edges. We love it. We like this. My first Alice book that I have. And now I am probably going to spend the night tidying my room because it's a mess. Editing. I've got two videos I need to edit and upload as soon as possible. I'm also gotta go and pick my boyfriend up from the train station we'll update you guys soon hopefully my next update is maybe a reading update but i doubt it <laughs> i've got too much to do hi it's jody and today i am going to attempt 
a reading vlog. So this is either going to be a weekend reading vlog or a weekly reading vlog. I have no idea. I attempted one of these this past week and it was a massive fail. I just decided to start all over. So that's where we're at right now. <laughs> oh, okay. That's also a great start. Oh, I don't even know where the books should have gone. <laughs> reading update so far i have read four books in total and today it is what date are we on so it is the 8th of february today today is saturday but so far i have read all three volumes of heartstopper so i read volume one earlier in the week i rated this five stars and then i read volumes two and three yesterday and i rated both of these five stars as well i absolutely love all of these they are so nice to read they make my heart very happy and i can't recommend these enough these were just so lovely and such quick reads i read them in one sitting each and yeah so that's that then yesterday i finished reading siege and storm by lee bardugo really did not enjoy this book i rated it 2.5 stars and there we go that's that so what i'm currently reading is a bit all over the place but last night i finally started crescent city by sarah j maas so yeah i am currently 57 pages into this big ass book yeah i'm really really enjoying it so far i'm really excited to read the rest of it and i'm planning on reading some more today so there's that then i'm currently listening to dragonfly number by diana gabaldon on audio so my bookmark in here is at 321 pages but i'm pretty sure i'm a little bit further ahead than that in this yeah i'm enjoying this so far as well and i really really love the audio books for the outlander series so far i'm also six chapters i think into my reread of crown of midnight by sarah j mass as well and yeah that's pretty much all the reading updates that i have at the moment i'm hopefully gonna get some reading done today there is a huge storm supposed to be hitting the UK this weekend so I'm probably going to be trapped indoors for my days off over the weekend which is fine by me because it means I can just read and be all nice and snuggly inside so yeah. <laughs> Hi, hello. So it's now Monday and I haven't updated you guys because I'm just rubbish. Sorry for the horrendous lighting and quality I'm filming on my phone. I'm actually at my boyfriend's right now and I'm just getting ready for work. And yeah, I thought I'd update you guys because I haven't updated you since Saturday. So yeah. I don't know if I have any footage from the past couple of days. If I do from the weekend, I will insert it now. I'm actually going to go out just to buy biscuits. Love that for me on a Saturday night. weekend it was super stormy it still is but it's nowhere near as bad as it was yesterday so i kind of just had a chilled weekend in with my boyfriend yeah i didn't do a ton of reading i just read a little bit of crescent city so i am actually now 174 pages in and i'm loving this book so that's kind of like the only update i have for you guys i haven't done any other reading and i haven't listened to my audiobook either i've just literally had a really nice chilled weekend and yeah, I also hit 800 subscribers, which is so exciting. I posted something on Twitter saying I wasn't far off and so many lovely people have shared it and f subscribed. And yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy. So thank you all for 800 subscribers. It might not seem much, but to me it is a lot and I'm just really, really happy. And yeah, thank you all for subscribing to me. I'm gonna head to work soon. I think I might actually read a little bit now before I go to work and yeah, I'll probably up Date you guys tomorrow, hopefully. We shall see. <laughs> I've got to work and I've got some book mail. So this is from Pan Macmillan. I really want to swap the lock one so we So we've got the Highland Falcon Thief, which is a middle grade. She is Fierce by Anna Sampson and Wilder Girls by Rory Powell. This is already out there, I believe, and so is this one. Thank you so much. I can't wait to read these. 
Hello, so it is now a Thursday. I cannot remember when I last updated you guys. This is getting very difficult to do alongside filming my Crescent City vlog because I'm kind of ended up filming at the same time. So it's kind of confusing. Um, but yeah, it's really difficult to try and film clips for the Crescent City vlog and also film a reading vlog at the same time, but I'm trying my best. So I don't have a ton of updates for you guys because I have literally just been reading Crescent City. I can update you guys on what page I'm on. So I'm currently on page 349. So I'm almost halfway, not far off. And I am loving it. That's all I'm going to say because you can head to my Crescent City vlog when it's up to find out exactly what my thoughts are. But yeah, moving on from Crescent City, I did read Mortal Instruments Graphic Novel Volume 1. I read this yesterday in one setting and I rated it four stars. I really love the art style in this. It's just really, really cool. Simple kind of like style. And this is just like a really cool like it's almost like a summary of City of Bones, you know, some bits are missing and it's just obviously it's a graphic novel, it's quite short. So this is just like an abbreviated version of City of Bones. And then I have listened to some more of my audiobook for um, Dragonfly and Amber. I don't know if I've already updated you guys on this, I don't think I have. I'm a little bit further ahead than what my bookmarks are in here at the moment, but I don't actually know what page that is. So I'm now on page 400 of this, so almost halfway through. And yeah, I'm really, really enjoying the story. It's a lot different to the first book because this is set in Paris and not Scotland anymore. So it's kind of, yeah, I love the fact it was set in Scotland in the first book more, but obviously the story is still really interesting. Oh, I have book mess. So I have all of this to show you guys as well. I think I already mentioned these in another clip. But I got some arcs at work, so I think I've already spoke about those. But I also got sent another parcel at work, so I don't know what this is. This is from Pan Macmillan, and God, why do they always? What are they using to stick these things down? Jesus! I don't think I even requested this, so this is kind of cool that they've sent it. Is the Mercies by Kieran Mild Hargrave? This is already out at the moment and this is a nice little hardcover they've sent me, so that's nice. Thank you so much, Pam McMillan. And then I have some book mail, so I think I know what this is. I think I bought this book off Depop. Oh, there's a little note. That's so cute. On the note, it says, to JD, hi, I really hope that this book arrives to you safely and you love it. The cover and all the illustrations are so beautiful. Enjoy from Megan. That's so sweet. That is so nice to do. So the book that I got was called The Wolf Wilder by Catherine Rundell, the author of Rooftoppers. I've never read anything by this author before, but look how beautiful this cover is. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And the back's the same as well. And the spine. And it's gorgeous. And oh my god, look. Oh my god, there's wolves in it. Wolves are my favourite animal. Like, I love wolves so much. I think they're beautiful. And yeah, so this is obviously about wolves and it's hardcover and it's a middle grade. And do you know what? I think I might actually read this pretty soon because I'm in the mood for a bit of middle grade. So this is set in Russia and the main character is called Theo, I think. And her mother has been a wolf wilder and she is also training as one now. And then some kind of guys with guns arrive and she goes on the run with some random little boy, I think. And she takes her this boy and her wolves with her to try and save her mother and their pack and that's all I know about it. It sounds so cute and just like such a really cool story and the fact that it's about wolves yeah that's what sold me and I love the cover and I cannot wait to read this and it is in such good condition so thank you Megan on Depop for allowing me to buy this from you because I'm so excited to read it. Then I picked up a couple of books from work the other day. How gorgeous are our new bags? These are our new paper bags and I love them, they're so pretty. This next book is a book I just got because I wanted it for my shelves. I already have the UK hardback of the first book in the series. I picked up Starsight by Brandon Sanderson, so I still haven't read Skyward. This is the sequel. It's just to go next to Skyward on my bookshelf. Don't know if I've already mentioned this in another video, but I have been trying to collect some nice collector's editions of books and just Barnes and Noble's classics and things like that and I managed to get a copy of the original Grimm's Fairy Tale design that Barnes and Noble came out with. I'll show you that actually. This version here. So I've wanted this for ages. They don't make it anymore but some lovely person on Depop was selling it and let me buy it from them. So I've got that one but I'd already ordered in the current version that they sell as well so I have two copies of the same book. But they're pretty and they're different and I like to collect them. And that is the Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales, but just the new blue pretty edition as well. 
I now have two copies of the exact same book, but they're both just stunning. Like, so that is all the reading updates I have. I am actually going to film another video now. I'm going to attempt... I'm going to attempt to try to reorganise my bookshelves. I'm going to try to do that. It's going to take me hours to do it. So I just finished filming my bookshelf reorganisation video and I am so, so tired. Why did I do that to myself? Oh my gosh. And to be honest, I'm not even 100% happy with it. So, I mean, it looks cool, but yeah. I'm going to end up changing it around again. But yeah, it's done. And I'm just, I'm really, really sleepy now. Really living life on the edge. I actually have my camera balanced on top of a mug that has tea in. So, you know, that that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> I don't know if I'm too tired to read. I might be too tired to read, I don't know. But I really want to read some more of Crescent City. And my camera is about to die. So I'll wrap this up and hopefully update you guys later. And yeah, bye. Hello, so little update. I'm about to start reading and I'm hoping to read the next 50 pages or so. It is Thursday night. So I finally took my makeup off and I am now finally in bed. I'm gonna read some more of this baby and my mum baked some banana bread so I have a nice big slice of banana bread and a huge mug of tea as well so I am well equipped to stay cosy in bed and read so yeah it's my little update <laughs> So it is Saturday, just enjoying the day, kind of just blazing about really, not doing anything. But I did get a nice hot bubble bath this morning and I listened to a little bit of my Outlander audiobook and that's pretty much it. I picked up two books yesterday when I went to Waterstones and these are both part of the um, Northern Young Adult Literary Festival which is coming up next month. So both of these authors are attending and are going to be on a panel and I haven't read them so I thought I may as well pick them up and give them a read before then if I can. One of them I'm not really that keen on but I might be pleasantly surprised. I don't even know if I'll end up reading it, I'm just hoping that I do. Um, so the first book is We Are Blood and Thunder by Cassia Lupo, I, I think is how you pronounce the name. I love the cover for this as well, it's super pretty. I have heard about this a little bit, like very briefly. Um, but it does actually sound really really interesting and it's about two different women and one of the women is trying to flee I'm not sure what from and sh she's fleeing to basically save her life and the other woman is trying to return to her home so both on two very very different journeys and somehow their journeys seem to like intertwine and they find out that they are linked and something to do with the storm clouds behind them um it's like basically like an inescapable kind of fate and they basically need each other in order to get to where they're going that's kind of all i know about it it's a bit vague but yeah i picked this one up and then i picked up arm tree and this is by rose edwards and i'd never actually heard of this before and i didn't know anything about it so there's two girls two sides one more the resistance is rising and dark versus stir to take back what was once theirs belief in the ancient gods rung strong the sacrificial harm tree still stands from what i've read on the blurb 
it sounds okay i just i'm not like really excited by it but i'm hoping to read it if you want to know more about this i will have it linked down below because the blurb is quite long and i don't want to try and summarize it i will just link it instead i am now on page 401 of crescent city so pretty much halfway now i'm now on let me move my bookmark page 478 which is the chapter called an audience with his majesty so i am now probably halfway maybe yeah i'm about halfway through this book too now um so i'm really enjoying the story it's very um long-winded a lot of different things keep happening but i'm still enjoying it i just really want them to go back to scotland now <laughs> that is pretty much everything i have to talk about i am just going to be reading more crescent city today again i'm going to sign the vlog off here this is my first ever weekly reading vlog and i don't really know how it's gone my life isn't terribly exciting i pretty much just work sleep eat read that's it i hope you did enjoy this i don't know if i'm going to be doing like consecutive weekly vlogs on like specific days each week as well because my schedule changes each week and yeah it'd be pretty hard to kind of like do it on a start on a certain day every week and end on a certain day every week so i'm just gonna see what happens and hopefully i can kind of do like weekly or like two weekly vlogs or something like that i don't know i hope you enjoyed my first weekly reading vlog and that it wasn't too boring <laughs> nearly at 900 subscribers now which is crazy so yeah i might have hit 900 subscribers by the time this video goes up no earlier in the vlog i was saying thank you for hitting 800 and that was only a few days ago and now i'm about to hit 900 i last time i looked i had 899 subscribers absolutely crazy and i just can't i just can't get my head around it and it means a lot to me thank you so much for everyone who subscribed to me recently i joined my little space on the internet i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe and be my 900 subscriber or whatever number i'm at when this video goes up then please do so love to have you join us and yeah so thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye